Oh, it was something from a horror movie. It's I'm I I get grossed out by tiny little specks of mold. And this, it's just you want to scratch your skin after you've walked out of that unit. It's just it's unbelievable that the, it, nobody takes that seriously. This is what Adelaida Adeslagen found inside her bathroom when she returned from a three-month vacation to the Philippines. A thick layer of mold growing on the ceiling. What's worse, she says, is it's been almost three weeks and Toronto Community Housing still hasn't dealt with the issue. When I opened the washroom, oh, it's terrible. It's so black. What did you think when you saw that? I'm scared, and I'll call back to my, my son-in-law to pick me up because I cannot stay longer there. It's male. And as Logan says, she went on vacation to the Philippines in late November, as she does every year, and made sure her son did a sweep of the apartment before she left to ensure nothing was left running. So she was stunned when she returned at the end of January to find this. She says she took pictures and complained to the property manager and has been staying with her children ever since. Yeah, definitely. Uh, this is not safe, definitely. We had an expert take a look at the bathroom, and they tell us this looks like toxic Category 3 black mold, the worst kind, which could cause some serious health issues and should be dealt with immediately. The moisture is right there on the corner, build up. So 26, 22, that tells me that the water comes from there and spreads around the ceiling. So there is water leak somewhere probably uh, this is the best idea to keep the door closed otherwise you're contaminating the whole area which i would say this this whole apartment it's contaminated city news reached out to toronto community housing and in a statement they write we took steps to address the problem as soon as we learned about it from the tenant and have since completed an assessment of the work needed to remove the mold and hired a vendor to do the repairs repair work will start on friday and take about a week we're meeting with the tenant tomorrow morning to arrange for temporary accommodation now we actually had to stop filming in here because once the technician saw just how bad the mold was, he said these masks that we were wearing weren't strong enough for it to be there for more than just a few minutes. Now this story came to us from a City News viewer. If you have an issue you'd like us to look into, here are all the ways you can reach us. Janella Massa, City News.